Hello, and thank you for the opportunity to be with you. It's so wonderful to be a part of this great event, and I'd like to congratulate TED University and the Impact Investing Advisory Board of Turkey for their leadership in bringing all of this together. I'll briefly introduce Impact Frontiers and then talk about some opportunities for ways that we would love to work with all of you. My name is Mike McCrellis. I'm the founder and the executive director of Impact Frontiers. Impact Frontiers is a nonprofit that supports investors to improve their skills at impact management, and especially to integrate impact alongside financial risk and return in investment decision making. We started out at Root Capital, a social investment fund where I was head of impact for nine years. As we grew, we migrated to the Impact Management Project, or IMP and incubated as initiative within, within the IMP from 2019 to 2021. The IMP was a five-year project that concluded at the end of 2021. And so now Impact Frontiers is continuing on as the steward of the five dimensions of impact and other norms facilitated by the IMP practitioner community. We continue to manage those norms and even to oversee the evolution and uh, building of new new concepts into that set of norms in the future. We also work with Kathy Clark, whom I know is uh, there with you in Turkey, as I wish I could be, to, to offer a cohort training program for investors, a guided do-it-yourself approach to help in investors build their own impact management practices over the course of a full year in partnership with Impact Frontiers, with Kathy, and with a group of like-minded investors all on a similar journey, all seeking to improve their own practice of impact management and build a community and learn from one another. To date, we've facilitated more than 10 cohorts with over 100 investors participating from all over the world, and we would love to have the opportunity to work with the leading investors in Turkey as well. As I mentioned, we also facilitate field building efforts to advance new practices of impact management. Last year and this year, we're focusing on four areas. The first is investor contribution, meaning the impact that the investor has on companies, whether it's through the capital they provide or the non-financial ways in which they engage with companies. For instance, by taking a seat on the board or providing technical assistance. We're just now concluding a process of public consultation on ways that investors can measure and manage and disclose their own investor contribution. And you can find the most recent resources under Investor Contribution 2.0 on our website. The second topic is impact ratings. We cover this in the cohort program, so I won't speak it now about it now. The third is just ramping up this month on impact performance reporting and verification. And we're about to launch a new public consultation on a new set of draft norms for impact performance reporting by investors and also for the verification and or assurance of those impact performance reports by third parties. And this is an area where we would really love to, to benefit from the insights and learnings of the impact investing community in Turkey, so that we can truly have a global set of norms around impact performance reporting by investors. And lastly, I would love to draw your attention to the open access version of our online curriculum that all of you can complete on your own, on your own time in, in Turkey, even if you're not even a part of a cohort. And that's, again, something that you can find on, on our website. Across all of our work, we seek to change the, main, the mindset of impact management from being something that investors do just to check the box to being something that you do because it brings you closer to the impact that people on the planet are experiencing and something that helps you make the best decisions that you can with those impacts in mind. There's a risk we find that impact management turns into a performative check the box exercise instead of an authentic engagement with the people in the natural environment affected by our investments. 
And we find that approaching impact management from a decision-making perspective is one of the best ways to do that authentically. As impact investors, sometimes it feels like we have two sides of our brain. We have the financial side and the impact side, but we're only able to think with one part of our brain at a time. As impact investors, we need to be able to think with both sides of our brain simultaneously, a way to make the disciplines of impact management and investment management interoperable. In this curriculum, we'll approach impact as part of an integrated practice that also <clears throat> includes financial considerations. In our cohort program and in our online curriculum, we work with investors to collect data on the impact of their investments and on financial risk and return and combine them so that they can begin to visualize all of the dimensions, not just the five dimensions of impact or the dimensions of financial risk and return, but all of the dimensions together to understand the integrated performance of investments and so that investors can make decisions based on an integrated understanding of all of those aspects of performance. Using impact for decision making often means integrating impact alongside the existing financial considerations in decision making. Impact financial integration enables impact for decision making. As part of the cohorts, I can give you a sneak peek. We ask three central questions of all of the investors that we work with. We don't give them the answers, but we work with them to develop the tools to come to their own answers using their own data for their own investment strategies in their own context. The three questions are easy to ask, but hard to answer. The first, which investments offer more or less impact? The second, which investments offer more or less risk-adjusted financial return? And third, how can you use the answers to these questions to improve the impact and or the financial performance of your portfolio over time? And we use a five-step process to help investors develop their own answers to these questions. The first and second steps involve setting up systems to, to, to determine for instance, to build an impact rating to decide which investments offer more or less of the type of impact that your organization is looking to create. And then building a financial preference ranking that does the same on the financial side. In step three, we bring the two sides together to create what we call integrated scatter plots, which use the investment's impact rating on one axis and the financial rating on the other to map both performance, uh, mo both dimensions of performance on a single chart. We can then move to the fi final two steps, analyzing integrated scatter plots to identify insights to inform future investment decisions and to measure, manage, and communicate both the impact and the financial performance of your portfolios in an integrated way. We would love to have the opportunity to work with all of you and support your leadership and your growth in the coming years, whether through our open access field building initiatives, through our cohort curriculum with Kathy Clark, and other ways that perhaps you haven't even thought of. To start, I would love to share with you the link to our homepage and invite you to sign up for our newsletter at impactfrontiers.org backslash contact and then explore some of the ways that you could begin to participate in the discussions on impact management that are happening around the world. I've included on the right side a screenshot of some of the discussion board topics that are going right now on systems change, on impact ratings, on the ABC of impact, on impact performance report verification, investor contribution, and other topics. I hope that the coming years bring us closer together and provide more opportunities to work together. In the meantime, I'd like to congratulate all of the impact investors in the Turkish ecosystem for the great progress to date and wish you a wonderful second day of your, of your event. Thank you.